Uh, uh. Peru, South America, in the year 1920. An expedition to the Andes. This voyage was the riskiest and most controversial scientific endeavor of the early 20th century. Oh, Everyone thought Professor Stone had gone mad and the fools who followed him were doomed to die. And so it remained until recently. When scientists found a map of an underground continent known as Agalta, stories about the lost civilization that lived there went from myth to fact with that single important discovery. Having studied the rock drawings, Stone concluded the underground civilization was thousands of years more advanced than ours. He then swore before the entire scientific community that he would find a way to Agatha and contact the beings that lived there. Herr Stauffenberg, the professor is building a machine to take him to Agatha. Dare I suggest Professor Stone would be a great asset to the Split Earth Project if we could convince him to join us? Moreover, we're ready to demonstrate the power of the hyperboloid ray. It's unstable, but it should be able to at least break through the crust of the Earth. Oh no! It's a disaster! Our calculations were correct. The power drain should not have caused an explosion of that magnitude. Shut up. Bring Professor Stone. Alrighty, oops, Daisy. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Wardfire, and today on our new LP, we are recording Astoria. I don't think I said that wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, it's a okay. bit blurry on my side. Okay, but now, Ward, continue. <laughs> Alright, so you guys probably hear that I'm not alone. Um, so for at least the first episode here for a bit with Esoterica Hollow Earth here, I'm gonna have uh, Desperado with me. Cause, Hi, everybody. You know, hopefully you can hear him. Um, getting these sound levels okay is a real pain, but he was really loud before, so hopefully you can hear him. <laughs> My voice will conquer this game. Totally. Just FYI. Yeah. So, Ward, so how do you want to do this? You want to guide us through the game and I try to help you with puzzles? Yeah, something like that. The All funny right. thing is I can barely hear you, which is so weird because, uh, yeah. Should I just scream in the mic? <laughs> Almost. Okay, so, um, I don't know how much you saw the story in the beginning, but, um, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of just started, uh, <laughs> like, oh, um, are we recording already? Um, <laughs> I know, I know. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna play regular mode because that's what we usually do. Um, and the story's basically that they found a continent in the uh, middle of the Earth, and lots of people want to get down there. Mm -hmm. Journey to the center of the Earth. If you didn't get that reference, read the book. Where yeah. am I? Mm -hmm. Okay, people? so... Where? What are you doing here? Why don't you talk to me? What? What's going on? No! No! Ah! Stephanie! Stephanie, wake up! You were screaming. Were you having a bad dream? Yes, it was terrifying. And strange. I feel like something bad has happened. Well, while you were sleeping, the mailman delivered a letter for you. It's from someone called Professor Stone. That's my grandfather. He sent me a letter? Old photos. Mom's funeral. My college years. <laughs> my first achievements. But why? Grandfather never writes, so something must have happened. I need to go to England immediately. Huh. So, there we are. There was a dream, and now we are playing, uh, I don't even know, uh, Stephanie. And it's really dark in her room, apparently. I like her hat. Not for the <laughs> yeah. time. I didn't read, I missed a text up there, but it said something. 
Mm, it's kind of uh, skimming past for me. <laughs> I know. Uh, we have goals. Retrieve journal, collect clothes. Uh, okay, hey. so apparently... What? No, I was just reading and I couldn't... It was like focusing on me. Keep going. Okay. Continue. Continue. <laughs> so apparently, uh, and glittering areas are hinopic scenes and there are all these symbols that are uh, glittering here. So apparently we're gonna start with hinopic scene right away. <laughs> I'd say we're in the 1950s probably. Yeah, something like that, I think. All this stuff looks like something my grandmother would put on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Uh, Go for that key over there. There. Yeah. We have a uh, coin, makeup. Makeup is not uh, very specific. <laughs> ma mascara. So if I was a fashion designer, where would I put mascara? Oh, wait, go, go to the right. Go to the right. Uh, next to that blue lamp over there. Up, 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 up. Next to that figurine below that, is that mascara. <laughs> <laughs> a little more, a little more. Yeah. Good, there good. There you go. I, yeah, right. <laughs> Trying to give you a sense of direction. <laughs> my part. Yeah, so here's our hit, hint button, but we don't really need that right now. Two brains are better than a hit button. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, you know, maybe. Alright, on the bottom of the right, to make a brush right there on your left, right next to the hairbrush. To the left, to the left. There you go, there you go. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, cookie. Oh, there was a cookie. Oh. And... Uh, a spoon and a tie. That's... Sh this is hard. Um... I think the tie's here. It's all green. Try. Oh, you're right. Ooh, you got a key. Awesome. We can zoom in over here. Use the key on a drawer. And we get a magnet, I think. Yes. Oh, we needed to open a safe, apparently. Oh yeah, we collect gold punch cards in this game with information about the uh, continent in the middle of the earth. Agartha. So that's, so that's basically the whole gist of the story. Grandfather goes on this journey to find something. Uh, granddaughter has to go on this mission to find Grandpa in the middle of nowhere, you know. Yeah, kind of, because there's some other people that we don't know if they're good or bad, and they want our grandfather, so maybe he's going to be kidnapped, or maybe not. Right, so pretty much like 90% of the casual games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one out of 29 punch cards. Oh god, I suck at news. Yeah, well, I'm just going to read it, so you know. Professor Stone. Professor Alistair Stone was born on March 15, 1870, in Providence, Rhode Island. As a child, he demonstrated keen understanding of minerals. While scout, he discovered a rare deposit of amethyst in an abandoned mine. After graduating from college, Stone went on to earn a PhD in geology. He became famous for his olivine zone theory, which suggests liquid gold, also known as earth blood, and a mysterious mineral he called olivine exists in cavities in the Earth's crust. Beautiful reading. <laughs> Thank Top you. Notch. Put it in the comments. She, Rashi, Rashi has this very thick Swedish accent when she talks English. I, if I remember correctly, somewhere around those lines. What? What? What is, wait, what is this? Uh, it's a puzzle. Uh, Stephanie promised her housekeeper Claire to um, to uh, complete this puzzle before going away. Oh, that wait, looks nice. Brown. Okay, so um, the beads go um, where their corresponding colors are, I'm mm. presuming, basically. Self-explanatory. Yeah, basically. I'm. Okay, there maybe there was info at the top. I. Really uh, so this looks like um, this looks like these look like oh god, horrible. These look like um, something uh, this looks like a kid toy, like yeah. some type of a embroidery. It is. Uh, I don't know why we are completing the embroidery, but um, apparently it's our job. Gosh, we're doing the kids' job for them. How? <laughs> we like promised our housekeeper to do this. I don't really understand that logic, but. 
paying her like a cent an hour. I don't do your job correct. <laughs> do you not have enough money? Do I have to give her, like five dime? Maybe? Oh my god, I just clicking things without beads. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm um, guessing once this is finished, it's just gonna be some type of clue or whatever. Somewhere along those lines. Uh, hopefully, or you know, yeah. Well, it has to be used for something, obviously. But we give it to the little kid, and the kid misses the key. Problem solved. <laughs> what did you do to your microphone? You're all weird now. How am I weird? You, you sound all weird now for some reason. Hmm. Uh. Wow. Well, maybe it's just part of the. The pen suave. Yeah. Pandanus. Okay, for all of you that don't understand this side of and we and you think I'm like another species now. Um I'm a pen. But not yeah. your typical uh, black and white. It is my nickname as you probably could tell by now. And um I get I get by the hour for cuddles. Uh, I don't take foreign currency, and you need to, uh, you need to play games, yeah. <laughs> so we found a safe key behind this, uh, embroidery here. That was basically why we did it. Now we're gonna leave our room. <gasps> we're One outside. of those locked up, locked up graduates. You gotta hit them. This is Columbus, a living, breathing souvenir. This he place wants... is pretty trashed. Yeah. <laughs> Columbus wants some grapes. Oh, the parrot's called Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice name. Uh... Okay. So, Wardfire, tell me, where are we supposed to be looking? specifically or just like anything we get it click on. yeah right now we're just clicking things because uh, we have to find all our uh, stuff to pack we're going to England this is what uh -huh. we need here scarf and hat and boots and stuff have the boots over here mm -hmm. apparently it's all gonna fit in this little um, bag here which is just awesome Because of course, this is Mary Poppins' house. So <laughs> yeah, she kind of reminds me of her Mary Poppins for some reason. I wasn't even looking at her. I was like, oh my god, you're right, though. She <laughs> like Mary Poppins. I was, I was referring to the bag. You know how Joyce just stuffs her bag. You know? Oops. It's very fair. Ah! <laughs> alarm! What? No! Of course. Game over, people. We just lost the game. Alright, I apologize for now. <laughs> <laughs> Re-record this. I apologize, audience. Oh my god! That we was just so messed stressful. up the game. <laughs> oh god. Uh... Okay. Wait, what? Uh... Yeah, we don't even know the combination. <laughs> okay, bye bye Steffi, you look strange. Are you okay? Yes? Good. Uh, let's see. Can I... I play a song I learned while you were away? Don't know. Can I? Oh, great! Too bad your parrot took part of my flute. Would you get it back for me? Your bird doesn't even want to give it back. I have no idea what her name is right now, but we're probably gonna know in a bit. I don't know what's her name, but I do want her hat. That's what I know. <laughs> Old timer hats, it looked yeah. good. See, there's our coat, scarf, and we need gloves. Gloves, okay, so where could we find gloves? Uh, I don't know, but apparently we get another hidden object team, which is silhouettes this time. Hmm. 
Scissors. There's that one. Yes, teach me the way of the casual warfare. <laughs> Okay, there's the glove we need, and a ring box. And I have no idea what these last things are, but, uh, that's okay. It's alright, it's okay. <laughs> You're gonna start singing for us now? No, 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 I don't want this to be copyrighted on my part. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that is a no, no. No, 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 okay, I think we have all our travel gear now. I start singing about banana crates, but uh, <laughs> that's just uh, yeah, nobody's gonna understand that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nobody's gonna get that. Whatever. Uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't sing about banana crates. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with a banana crate? Okay, never mind. Do it. All right, we'll do it your way. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need grapes. I don't know really know what we're where we're gonna get grapes from. Uh. This is weird. I don't think we have a map, at least not here. Mind, mind you, your like, screen is frozen in one frame, so right now I'm just assuming that uh, we're going the right way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, when you're on the other side, you get, you get freeze a lot of the time. But I found the grapes, so I'm gonna give them to uh, the boat, <laughs> to Columbus. <laughs> This place is uh, pretty uh, spacious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so puzzle. Tune the flute by moving its parts up or down. This assembles the ornaments. Then repeat the melody by clicking on the parts of the flute in the correct order. Ooh, more puzzles. Uh. Oh! Okay, this is how we do it, apparently. Uh Here we go. Part two. Oops, I think I missed it. Is that considered a flow? Yeah, it is that, considered. That is a nice looking one. <laughs> a pan flute, I think. <laughs> a pan flute. That, that reminds me of uh, Peter Pan's flute, the one he uses to call in the, uh, cool. the boys, the gang. Now, don't you think? Thank you, Steffi. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the hairpin you gave me. I almost Remember? forgot. Here's the hairpin you gave me. Remember? Take it. <laughs> You could just voice her as a tent. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I... What do we... What? I have no idea why we need this hairpin, but apparently we do. I'm probably gonna have to uh, pick lock something. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we could pick that gi ginormous uh, <laughs> lock behind the painting. <laughs> Well, I hope you're very good because if that pin breaks, uh, it's our last one. Yeah. Oof. Okay, so here are the symbols for the safe. It's like a tree and a jellyfish and cannonballs and, and an unknown at the end there. Unknown? You mean the Pokemon? Yeah! It's an unknown! <laughs> What? So random. It looks like an unknown. It is. It does. It does. Watch, watch a, a legendary Pokemon pop out of that safe. <laughs> oh my god! I finally found you, Pikachu. 
<laughs> he's uh. not legendary. <laughs> hey, he's legendary to the hearts and minds of millions of generations. Huh. Okay, we found our journal. Oh, that, that, okay, so, I'm gonna read the journal here then. I had a strange dream today. I was running after my grandfather through a crowd of people in the city, when all of a sudden, I fell into a crack in the earth. I looked up and saw the moon over which, over which a strange symbol was imposed. I wish I knew what the dream meant. I just woke up to learn I received a letter from grandfather. He says he misses me. If I were the granddaughter of an ordinary grandfather, I'd be thrilled to have received such a, me such a message. But I have no ordinary grandfather. If he says he misses me, then something is wrong. I'm afraid he's in serious trouble. Therefore, I must fly to London immediately. That is not the moon, that is the ultimate Pokeball. <laughs> and the girl's name is Mary! We got a name! Mary, the daughter of my housekeeper, is a gifted student of music. So in my spare time, I have been teaching her to play the flute. Although I don't have time for music today, I can't turn down her pleas for another lesson. She's been eagerly awaiting my return. Before I can teach her another song, I need to take back the stolen part of her flute my parrot stole. Oh, so she's determined, huh? That's good. Mm -hmm. Good to have persistence. Nice. I like her already. I still don't know what we need the hairpin for. Oh, okay. We can just click the elevator, apparently. Let us travel. Hello, elevator. Oh my god. Where? Why do we have to do a puzzle in the elevator? I imagine this is where the the hairpin might come. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, so we made the elevator work. <laughs> That is a weird figure. Uh, that is a lady in uh, some <laughs> specific pose. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, like if I'm a little so late, it's, like sometimes right. it rolls for me a little frames later. <laughs> the man who can easily recite every known mineral, but can't remember his granddaughter's birthday. Maybe I should have been no, so quick to leave. Wrong. Plus, I can't get that dark no, dream out of my head. Wrong. I've Plus, always laughed at people who claim to have prophetic dreams. And I've oh, never nice. believed in the supernatural. But how could my nightmare and the arrival of Grandfather's letter be a coincidence? May I have your attention, please? The flight from New York to London is now Thank boarded. God I made it on time. Perhaps when I arrive in England, everything will be fine. And I'll see that my fears were nothing more than the product of an overworked mind. Almost there. Wow. Hardly anything has changed since I was here 20 years ago. Dang, she's old. I've seen it before. No. It can't be true. This is the symbol I saw on the moon in my dream. Well, I'll just make sure Grandfather's okay. And then I'll go on a real vacation. One without nightmares and mystical nonsense. Finally, I've arrived at Grandfather's estate. So I don't know where you are, but we are at Grandfather's estate. <laughs> I don't know about you, but Mary looks awesome for her age. She must be on that Neutrogena system or whatever. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> yeah, but um, someone's been here and... Um, Destroyed the mansion. It's just it's just a tad bit. I mean, don't over exaggerate. It looks pretty good. I know, except the door that's like totally busted. No, 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 no. The door just needs a little a screw here and there, it's a <laughs> bit of a touch up. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, should we do it in object scene? Yeah, sure. Whoa. Okay. Hello, Mr. Thunder. My goodness. Alrighty. Oh god, the mess. Yep. Alright, so go to the oil cans all the way to the left. They want oil. Yeah, okay, there. <laughs> the big <laughs> letters on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, the ropes all the way in the back, right next to that blue jay or whatever bird. All the way in the back, right? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, what else am I looking for? 
<gasps> Bow! No, we don't need it. Oh, I thought that was a bra. Never mind. <laughs> 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 we did. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I think you are banned. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> For any of you that can recognize that, where that came from, 10 points to you. <laughs> 10 points to you. Okay, that was a bow tie, okay? <laughs> hey, it was pixelated, okay? <laughs> it was loading in. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. Let's see what else we can find. Um, go, go to that, uh, that fallen pillar. Where that camera is on it. There's should like that reed right next to it. Oh wait, no, never mind. That's a scythe. Okay. But there was a bottle there though, so thank you. Oh, all right. Um, gloves. What do we need? Gloves, coin purse, and uh, perfume. Yeah. Um. Gloves. Just, I don't know specifically, there's so many different types of gloves. Yeah, exactly, like what color are they, or... Like, like are they, uh... Are they uh, 50s gloves? Did they decide to do like a... Uh... Oh wait, hold on. Um, go to that little drawer that the chair is leaning on to check if there's anything in there. What do you mean? That green chair is like, kind of leaning... Towards a, uh, oh, there's the perfume. Thank you. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, gloves. Is that a dog? That is a dog. That is a lassie dog. Lassie, one of my favorite movies. I don't know what the breed is called in English, so I'm just gonna go with lassie dog. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a shepherd, of some sort. Yeah. Uh, mm, God. Those pairs of gloves do not want to be found. Oh, there they are, at the dog. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we just said it. Okay. We're just staring at, the, at them. Okay, we just picked up a statue head, that's cool. I didn't even know she could carry that. Meh. Mary Poppins, right? True. Definitely true. True, true, true. Her bag is probably a black hole where I just go to like the galactic system and just picks it up. <laughs> yep. And sticky tape and everything. Okay. But, um. We're gonna have to take a break <laughs> here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching my LP. Uh, this has been Warfire. If you guys enjoyed it, please um, keep watching. Support us also. Um, have a good day. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>